this is a meeting focused on development of new therapeutics in cancer therapy. And clearly one of the biggest areas of interest is understanding immunotherapy. So that will continue to be a major topic of this meeting. Another uh, major topic is the evolution of targeted therapy. Uh, what we're learning is that most targeted therapies that are effective have a relatively um, short duration and patients inevitably become resistant. And so there's increasing focus on predicting uh, mechanisms of resistance and by being able to predict mechanisms of resistance, coming up with um, treatment options in which we combine targeted therapies anticipating uh, the development of resistance before it develops. So that'll be another major theme. And I think the two other major areas in parallel are understanding uh, further genetic alterations, genetic and epigenetic alterations, and how we can continue to target these epigenetic changes as well as continued uh, targeting of genetic changes. And last but not least, I think not just mechanisms of resistance for targeted therapy, but mechanisms of resistance in general. Our task, now that we get responses in many of our patients, is to make those responses more durable, whether we're talking about immunotherapy or targeted therapy or even chemotherapy. One of the breakthroughs is how to make uh, continued progress in immunotherapy. And what I mean by that is even with our development of checkpoint inhibitors, development of uh, chimeric antigen receptor T cells, how might we begin to combine checkpoint inhibitors? We now have at least two that are commercially available, that is PD-1 inhibitors as well as uh, CTLA-4 inhibitors. So there'll be more information about combining both checkpoint inhibitors. Um, there will also be more information about predictions of responding patients versus non-responding patients. We still don't have good markers uh, to select the patients most likely to respond, but we're beginning to identify those markers, and I think there'll be a lot of discussion about that. Now we fully understand that single-agent targeted therapy is not enough, um, and so there are more and more studies now uh, where we combine two separate or sometimes three separate therapies um, with these newer targeted agents that are taking advantage of the molecular alterations we find in tumors. And I hope and I think we'll hear, even begin to hear about how one might begin to combine chemotherapy with both targeted agents and also how we might think about combining chemotherapy with immunotherapy. I think young investigators probably have the most to benefit from this kind of a meeting for several reasons. The first is that they will be exposed to the cutting edge uh, research in terms of therapeutics. The other area that brings, that is really advantageous for them is while it may seem like a large meeting compared to the national meetings, um, this is a meeting that allows uh, younger investigators to meet in a personalized way, some of the senior people in the field to begin to uh, develop relationships with, um, and not just with academicians, with pharmaceutical representatives, um, with colleagues across the, both the United States, North America, as well as Europe and Japan. It's a pretty international meeting. Uh, and so I think you begin to identify colleagues around the world that you may have opportunities to collaborate with or at least to know what's going on in other areas of the world where you may not be so familiar with the investigation. This is an opportunity to hear uh, the, the early results presented for the first time in a public forum, um, to meet with um, uh, many uh, uh, investigators across multiple fields, chemists, biologists, um, immunotherapists, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, and uh, to really see where the new drugs are coming from, what they're focused on, what they're targeting, um, what they're combining, the, what the combinations are, what the toxicities are, uh, and 
what drugs are going to move forward and really present it in a forum where um, the information is, is available for the first time. So you get ahead of the curve by attending this meeting.